Hey everyone, before I get started with the video, just want to give a big thanks to the new subscribers. Thank you so much for the support, and I hope to see you down in the comments below. What is up guys, welcome back to some more VGC 2018, the last episode with the Mega Garchomp team. At least the team was able to reach my goal, which is 1700. And now I am back to a 1691, so if I can get this win... This win should put me back into 1700. Got the little Charizard. Charizard looks... It's just Charizard looks so funny, man. Uh, here we go. Someone with the Lapras. I did, I, I did... Okay, I wasn't paying attention to what the rating was. I think it was 1600. We got Gengar, Charizard, uh, Dragonite, Lapras, Aerodactyl, and Nidoking. Well, I like... The unique team, I'm also scared because I don't know what they want to do. Mm, best guess is that the Aerodactyl does have Tailwind. It does have Tailwind. So I kind of want to go Tyranitar and Amoongus. And then let's go Cresselia, followed by Lele. Alright, let's see. Evan, Aerodactyl, and Gengar. Is it a double mega team? Alright, a nerf. Sand's gonna go up. Now, what can I do here? I could just straight up go for a spore onto the Aerodactyl and Dragon Dance. Or that could be. Will O Wisp Gengar. So let's see, I'll just Dragon Dance. Well, you know what? This, uh, this Double Protect right here. Let's see what he's gonna try and do. You know, withdraw Gengar. Into Noodle King. So that was dumb. I could have gone for a Rage Powder Dragon Dance. So we're probably gonna see Tailwind from the Aerodactyl. Supersonic Sky Strike? Yep, got you. Alright, sweet. Okay, so it was a good thing I went for the Dope Protect. We would have lost the uh, Tyranitar. I mean, we would have lost the Moongus right there. And that still does over half. Yeah, so Trick Room would have just owned this team. I should have probably brought Snorlax. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. I'm gonna Rage Powder. So is that Sky Drop that you have? Nope, going for Tailwind. And you're gonna go for Ice Beam. Ooh, you wanna take out the Amoongus. Okay, Amoongus is gonna go down right here. Alright, I'm gonna go into Cress. I am still leaning towards that it's Sky Drop. Let me see, I'm gonna crunch the Aerodactyl. I'm gonna ally switch. I'm expecting the uh, Earth Power onto Tyranitar. Tyranitar's gonna avoid and Sludge Bomb. Okay, never mind. My opponent was doubling up onto the Cresselia slot. Sweet damage! Let's 
Let's see. Okay, my opponent saw the alley switch. You have two turns left to Tailwind. Okay, sweet. I kind of want to ally switch again in Dragon Dance. Hmm. Oh, I'll protect Icy Wind right here. Stone Edge again. Cresselia avoids my opponent. My opponent is oh predicting predicting the ally switch, but my opponent uh, missing the Stone Edge is that's why I do not run that move. It's a powerful move. You got the high chance for a crit. Oh, the Aerodactyl survives. No, but the sand, no, the sand's not gonna take you out. My opponent going for those, uh... Going for the ally predict- Okay, I don't think you're gonna predict it right now. I'm gonna ally switch and rock slide. Uh, nah, I think, I think, uh, I think, uh... Oh, the Aerodactyl avoids. Can I get a flinch on the Needle King? Earth power. Nah, he just, he straight up just went for it. Yeah, we lost our Ranitar right there. Tailwind petered out. Alright, that sucked. Oh, just straight up Psychic, the Needle King, and Icy Wind. My opponent isn't going to protect, but I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl's still going to be able to get up the Tailwind right here. But we are going to take out the Aerodactyl at least. So that means you have Charizard in the back. Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah, I should have gone with Trick Room right here. Yeah, Charizard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. And he's got Tailwind up, so... Protect Lele, and let's go for Trick Room. So that's Sash Gengar, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my opponent predicting the ally switch twice. Yeah, this was on me. I, I did not play this poorly. My opponent played this very well. Yeah, going for Shadow Ball. That should activate my berry. Nope, Trisella is actually gonna survive. And Heat Wave. This might just take out Cresselia. No, living! Cresselia with the bulk! So, definitely wanna... Psychic, the Gengar, and I'm gonna Icy Wind, because I feel like the Gengar... Um... I feel like the Gengar does have the Sash. No protects from my opponent. My opponent just, just does not care. Crit did not matter. Uh, but my, the, my opponent's... Now the problem is... Oh, Fire Blast and Connecting! My opponent running some powerful moves. 
Yeah, and there's nothing else I can do. Icy Wind is disabled. I can't attack with the Cresselia. Yeah, th that was. Just, this is just all me. I did not play this very well. I should have gone with Trick Room. Trick Room would have just owned my opponent. He was relying a lot on Tailwind. Yeah, that's going to lower me down a bit. Yeah, GG, well played, by, well played by my opponent. Yeah, all the way down to 1671. They really need to like switch this. They need to change this up. It really sucks that when you lose to somebody that's lower rated than you, you lose a lot of points. But here we go, someone who's running the popular Got to Tell uh, Trick Room team right now. But they don't have Incineroar or Ludicolo, but they do have a Gengar, so that's Mega. It's a, par it's a Parish song. Ah, oh, it's a Parish song. The Parish Trap team. But you don't have anything for a... Uh... Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go Amoongus and Lele. That's going to stop Fake Out and I can Spore. And then bring in Snorlax. And I think I'll go Cresselia. Paris Trap. Paris Trap. I'm not a fan of that. I am not a fan of this. Let's see what we're gonna go with. Lele. Gengar Scrafty, sweet. So you can't fake out. Now, what are, what are you going to do right here? Switch out the Scrafty for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure they... I, I really want to predict... The, this is what I want to do. I want to uh, focus... I mean, I want to... Yeah, I want to Z-move. Fight EMZ, the Scrafty, expecting it to switch out into Mawile. And then Gengar's probably just going to protect right here. Or I could just go straight up Spore into the Scrafty slot and protect... Tapu Lele, and I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to protect Tapu Lele, and I'm going to go for a uh, Spore. Yeah, you can't afford Gengar to go down here. You cannot afford that. Mega Gengar, of course. But you got God you probably have Gothitelle in the bag, so you probably went for the Parish Song. No, protect. Okay, sweet. Now, are you going to switch out into your Scrafty right here? Alright. I, I want to do a crazy play right now. I don't want to go Rage Powder. That would help me out. I kind of want to Rage... I want to Spore the Gengar slot and Psychic the Gengar slot. I want to do that. So, even if the Scrafty comes in, I'll get the Spore off. Okay, got the toe. Okay, never mind. So, we're still going to get some damage off. Oh my god, Paris Trap is annoying. We're putting everything to sleep. So, we pretty much... We see my, my opponent's entire team. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. Gothitelle cannot learn Paris Trap. Alright, so let's Sludge Bomb, the Clefairy, Psychic, the Clefairy. Let's get to work on... What? It woke up already? Gonna go for a helping hand? I guess you can't do anything else. Uh, Psychic should do a... I'm modest, man. I am modest nature. That's a good amount of damaging. Gothitelle's still asleep. Sweet. So I wonder what... Oh, you're going for a Psychic type move. I got the papaya, papaya berry. I still can't. I still can't remember the name of that item. I 
I can't get over Charizard, dude. I just keep looking at the little Charizard, dude. It's just so funny. It's Friday. The weekend's coming up. Gengar coming in. My opponent hasn't seen me go for any, uh... I'm gonna Rage Powder. How many turns I got left of Terrain? Two turns left of Terrain. I'm gonna Moonblast. I'm gonna Rage Powder, Moonblast, the Gothitelle. I feel like the Gengar's gonna protect right here. No, the match is just forfeited. Take that! Take that, you Parastrap team. Oh, man, dude. I, 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 I'm I, actually quite proud of myself. I did some reads on that one. I did some reads on that one. I did some serious reading right there. Took out the book and started reading. Continue battling, and it should be 1687. So close to, I'm, I'm close to the rating I was before. Yeah, so guys, let me know what you think about the layout. I didn't want to make, the thing I, like, I do like it when I, when I watch YouTube videos, I watch other PokeTubers, and I like, I like their layouts, I like the designs, but the thing I don't like is sometimes they have the screen, like, pretty, pretty small. So, with this one, I just made it so I can put, like, my Twitter and my Instagram, and then just have the side so I can fit in the face, the, not the face, the, uh, the side so I can fit in the, the lower screen, and then just fit in the little Charizard right there. But I wanted to keep the the big. I wanted to keep the main screen big, as big as possible. But here we go. Incineroar, Mega Metagross, Salamence, Ty Tyranitar, um, Excadrill, and Lele. So this team scares me a lot. Incineroar has Fake Out, Support. Hmm. There's like. Wow, there's like so many possible leads for my opponent. Amoongus is threatened by Metagross and Lele and the Salamence. Oh yeah, super threatened, super threatened right now. So let's go, let's go Incineroar. I mean, let's go uh, Cresselia. I gotta get up Trick Room. In fact, this entire team is quite weak to Earthquake, so Garchomp would be pretty sweet right here, actually. Let's see, I'll go Cresselia Amoongus. Garchomp. And you know what? I think I'll go, I'll go Lele. I'm bringing in Mega Garchomp. There's no way my final episode with this team and I'm not going to use Mega Garchomp. The only problem is Salamence. But if he leads off Tyranitar and Extra Drill, that pretty much comes down to the very first play. They're probably gonna, He's probably just going to go for Rock Slide, and that can be the game right there by Flinch. And nope, Salamence and Incineroar. So you're going to fake out Cresselia. Yeah, you're going to fake out Cresselia, and you're going to... And you're going to attack Amoongus. I'm going to Icy Wind and protect Amoongus. Going to withdraw the Salamence into the Lele. What am I more afraid of? I'm more afraid of that Incineroar. Wait, you're not gonna be able to fake out anymore. Cause you're not going you're not going for fake out then. You went for the, the, the. Oh yeah, you can still fake out Cresselia, I forgot about that. Okay, so LA switch. And I'm more afraid of the Incineroar. I'm gonna spoil the Incineroar. Why would you switch to the Salamence? You're in a perfect spot. Are you afraid of the Amoongus? I 
would have been able to get off a free spore. Alley switch. And going for the psychic. There's no way you would go for the Cresselia with the psychic. Your life orb, Lele. Oh, you just wasted your Z move. But is that going to be able to take out Cresselia? I mean, is that going to is that going to be able to take out the Amoongus? I think it will. I'm I'm especially defensive. Oh my god, it obliterated us. All right, I'm going into Lele right here. We know you're not a salt vest. So let's uh, all that pummeling the Incineroar and let's go for Icy Wind. Yeah, I should have gone for Rage Powder. See, this is why Snorlax would have been perfect right here. I could have gone for Rage Powder, Trick Room, Amoongus would have gone down. Lele's gonna go for Taunt. Okay, I'm going for Icy Wind. They should be able to take out the Incineroar. A modest plus um Uh the Incineroar isn't AV, so it should take it out. Let's see, let's see. I could have Helping Hand. You know what? I kind of wanted to go for Helping Hand. Nope, it's enough. It's enough. Okay, okay. And now my Lele outspeeds his Lele. And Garchomp can handle the Lele now with the Poison Jab. But are you going to bring in Salamence? You probably are. So you don't have the Tyranitar Extra Drill, sweet. So as long as I can take out the Salamence, Tyranitar. Dude, I got Focus Blast, man. That's gonna do a ton of damage to you. It could be Choice Scarf. Oh, I can't Helping Hand. I forgot about that. Let's get rid of the Lele. I'm going to Moonblast. I'm going to Icy Wind. Oh, Lele's going to Protect. That's probably a weakness policy to Tyranitar. Okay, that Tyranitar is slow. Probably went for Dragon Dance. Not just going for a straight up crunch. It's Cresselia. Oh, living at five. Give me the berry. Yeah, I just want to get rid of the Lele. Moonblast. And I'll just Icy Wind again, I guess. Icy Wind. Can this knock out Modest Natured? Just shy, but the Icy Wind should be able to clean up. No, it's not! Lele survives! Oh no! Are you serious? I got a, I got crit. I got critted. 
Still going for the crunches onto the Cresselia again. So this sucks, now Garchomp's gonna get intimidated. Of course I would get crit. Of course I would get a crit. Yeah, I could have definitely won the first game and probably this game if I would have just gone with Snorlax Trick Room. I'm going to protect Lele, I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to EQ. That sh still should be enough to take out the Tyranitar. But I wanted to show Mega Garchomp. Opponent's taking their time. Are they gonna protect Tyranitar? I don't think you are. Mega Salamence. Lead is gonna protect. What's gonna happen right now? What's gonna happen? Just gonna go for Hyper Voice. Okay, so we're gonna lose Lele no matter what. And that doesn't do that much to, to Garchomp. That crit. I don't think the crit mattered anyway. I think the Salamence would have been able to come in and just take out. Oh, the Tyranitar survives. You're probably weakness policy. And a defense drop. Yep, that's pretty much game right there. Yeah, so I could have won. Now, now I'm going to lose a lot more points just because I wanted to bring out Mega Garchomp. Well, I could have gone Trick Room and still brought Garchomp. Right, I'm going to have one more battle. Let's see if I can get a win. And go at least two and two in this episode. Yeah, because so far with these two matches I lost, they did, they pretty much had no answer for a trick room. Sixteen sixty five. I dropped a lot. <laughs> I dropped a lot. Here we go. Someone from Japan with the seventeen uh, sixty four rating, and it looks like a twenty seventeen team to be honest. Except that's I'm pretty sure that's Mega Salamence with Porygon two for Trick Room, so they can cancel off my Trick Room. And I pretty much have no answer for, uh... I don't have an answer for the Porygon 2. Yeah, I don't have an answer for the Porygon 2. I mean, I got Lele, I guess. Let's see, what can I go for? I could go Snorlax and Amoongus. I want to try out that lead. Snorlax, Amoongus. And then Tyranitar and Lele. Let's go with that. I'm going with that. He'll probably expect me to bring Cresselia. He could lead off with the Salamence though. I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna lead off with the Salamence. No, nope, Top of Coco and Marowak. So 
so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm just gonna belly jump. And rage powder. Oh my god, he's a reflect. He's a reflect. Reflect light screen Coco. And there's Flare Blitz. I wonder how well can I take that. Okay, I can't take that at all. Alright, we got Snorlax up though. We got that belly drum up. So I'm guessing you're more invested in... You're more invested in bulk for the cocoa? So let's see, I kind of want to recycle right here and Dragon Dance. And yeah, gonna set up the screens. Hopefully it's our run-ups can take it. I need weakness policy up. No, it's just gonna go straight up for a flare blitz. Don't burn me, please. Okay, that did okay, that did a lot of damage, dude. That did a lot of damage. So I'm not really afraid of the Coco. Light screen, reflect. You're, you're, you're just meant to set up the screens. Yeah, you're just meant to set up the screens. I'm going to recycle again. And I'm going to go for Rock Slide. Please connect on the Marowak. Because my Snorlax can't take another one. Is that Hidden Power fighting? No. Okay, so we connect on Marowak. Marowak's gonna go down. That did nothing to that Coco. What are you gonna bring out? Salamence? The Scizor. Okay, that ain't good. I'm gonna high horsepower the Scizor. Rock slide with Tyranitar. Yup, this ain't looking good. I'm gonna go for T-Bull onto the Tyranitar. Rock slide, can I get a flinch, yo? Gonna go for Bug Bite into the Snorlax. And he's gonna take my berry. Okay, well that sucks. High horsepower, that's gonna knock you out. Nope, thanks to the reflect, it's not. Uh, okay. How many turns you got left of uh Okay, this is your last turn to reflect, actually. So, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide with Snorlax, and I'll just protect Tyranitar right here. Going for Bullet Punch. Going for T-Ball onto, onto the... So you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna watch. Your reflect is gone. Your reflect is gone. You're gonna, you're gonna set it up again. You're gonna set up the reflect again.
No! You still got three turns left to reflect! What the heck? What the heck? Fighting Z move the Scizor and Dragon Dance with Tyranitar. Gonna withdraw the Coco. Ah, you got the Feeny! So no Salamence! Living on two! Living on two, baby! Tyranitar with the bulk! This will be a nice way to finish off the episode, man. Defeating a 1700 rated player. So, pretty much what can I do? My opponent still has the light screen up. So, the, uh, the Feeny is... The Feeny can just go for a Calm Mind right here? No, wait, wait, wait. I got a plus four Tyranitar. Re forget about the Reflect. I got a plus four Tyranitar. I outspeed the, um, the Coco. I outspeed the Coco. I mean, of course, as long as I don't miss the Rock Slide on the Coco. Please, Tyranitar. Let's see. Moonblast, the Feeny. Let's see, you got three turns left of light screen and two turns left of reflect. Tyranitar is at plus four attack. Rock slide. Please connect on both. Yes! That's gonna take out the Coco. Come on, let me get a special special attack drop right here. Oh! Got the special attack drop! Going for the Muddy Water and connects on both. So I couldn't get a flinch. Don't get an accuracy drop, please. So unfortunately, I cannot get the act the the flinch. My opponent still has two turns left of Trick Room, and this is most likely going to activate your Berry. Ah, uh, what are they expecting me to... I gotta do it. I gotta go for a Moonblast. I, I can't I can't protect. What if they go for Calm Mind? Oh, Josh! Oh, your Z-Move! Your Z-Move, Feeny! I could've protected! I could've won! <laughs> oh my god, I thought you were the Wiki Berry! Nah, I still couldn't have won. No! I'm still gonna live! We won! We won! <laughs> Game. Going, gonna go two and two on the episode. The match is forfeited. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys again next time.